Rade, rade, rade. Thank you that you're here with your lovely ears. Um, I, I have maybe only to say a short thing. I'm so happy that we have such good gurus, that we have so lovely, sweet, hearted gurus who are nearest and dearest from Radharani. So that is our luck. That is our really, really luck in our heart. That is our fortunate luck, and we can be so happy that we have this association. And um, so let's glorify our gurus. And so they are really nearest and dearest from Radha. That is our luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Guru Dev. Thank you. I'm so happy. Not only Guru is near, all devotees are near to Radha. <laughs> all we are Radha Dasi. <laughs> yes. And this name is given by Suniti. <laughs> <laughs> Love, honor this. <laughs> But we got our mercy Thanks. from you. Yeah, thank you, my dear. So, yeah, very nice for you. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Madhuri. Always you are uh, putting this balm of your own love and feelings in our ears and in our hearts. And we know that you are also guided by Gurudev and by Shimate Radhika and that we are eternally together now. And that makes a special quality also. Yes, in this I life mean... and for the next. Yeah, thank you. I, I need... Uh your blessing that I can realize deeper and I know this present is coming t due to our Guru Devas and uh, so sweet Guru Devas, Jayananda and Sadhu Maharaj, I pray to you, please bless me that I can really go my way and my re have my realization to Radharani deeper. Oh, my dear. With your all family. My whole family. <laughs> <laughs> and once I would like to say thank you, Jayananda, that you were in my home here. And um, I was so happy that you were here with us and all were so happy. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Guru. Thank you, Homadri Ji, and uh, we are so happy in your house, and your student is so nice. Uh, we remember, uh, you know, chanting together, dancing together in your house. This is really amazing. Thank you. So we have a, a sharing from Japanese Sangha. I heard that Kishori Didi said that Ramani Priya would like to share today. Yes? Yes. Jai. Jai Ho. Thank you, Lade Lade. Um, I don't have any experience or any realization to share in this in this sharing class, but um, um, yeah, Jananda Maharaj and Kishoriji asked me how about you got share, so uh, I will try my very, very little experience. Um, yeah, it is in this maybe three years. Um, I was uh, first, I learned. Uh, Bhagavad Gita from Prema Yogini Didi in the, the yoga teacher's training course. So the first time I was just mm, no interested in um, bhakti yoga. 
just wanted to to learn to be a yoga teacher and um after um finishing that yoga teacher training course but still um i don't have much interest in bhakti yoga but uh my bhakti himage dd arranged us to to go to the vrindavan tour and i was really tourist really so i thought okay maybe just one time to go into holy place and um, maybe india is not good for me so maybe just one time <laughs> so i yeah with with ladders mercy and janana gurudev's mercy and i could come to vrindavan i think it was two and a half years ago and it's really shame to say about this but uh, i didn't remember the name of jayananda gurudev <laughs> the guy said ja, just something <laughs> Yeah, Jaya, Jaya, something. Because my teacher is uh, Mahabakti Himagiri and Prema Yogini Didi, so I didn't have any lecture from Jana the Maharaj at that time. So, yeah, it's really my tourist. Uh, I was really tourist, so I just wanted to come or go to overseas for a trip, and um, just wanted to. How is Sadhu? How is saint people, saint place, holy place is like? So two and a half years ago, I was like that, and at that time, Sadhu Maharaj had a eye surgery, cataract or something. So the first day he was not in Vrindavan, so I couldn't see. We couldn't see. I think two or three days, and um. I remember that I was we are in the basement having a lecture. At that time, that Guru Dev's room is not basement, so we are taking lecture in the basement. And maybe three days or four days, I don't remember. But um, someone said Sadhu Maharaj can come today, so we do dandavat and wait. But as I told, I was really tourist, so. Just wanted to see Sadhu Maharaj. What is Sadhu Maharaj? How is Sadhu Maharaj? So I was doing down the path. I'm looking, looking at very small things like that. So here, Sadhu Maharaj is coming down the basement, and um, I was sitting. I was not a good student, so I was not in the front. I was maybe. Near monitor, and in this moment, there's monitor in the in the basement, and I was near there, and that place is very near to the entrance of basement, so I was doing down the butt, not down the butt, but down, that like down the butt, but watching, looking for uh, the, someone's coming, and um, you know my mood is totally tourist. Or just having an interest, how is sadhu? But first step, I saw the guru was coming. I think I saw tall, tall nail or tall of guru dev. The tears, suddenly tears, coming down to me. I don't understand what is this tear because. You know, I am not the person who really wanted to see Sadhu Maharaj or really wanted to come to Vrindavan or something like that. No, I was just having interested in to holy people or holy places, but the tears, uh, really much tears are coming down. So I was so surprised, really surprised. And um, after that, my life totally changed, really totally changed. Um, in the first three, four days, I was enjoying Vrindavan, Mungil, but you know, not like um, 
devotees just traveling. But um, I was just thinking not to be uh, to be just to be polite to Vrindavan or Vrindava people because Chananda Maharaj and maybe Mabakti Himagiri Premayogi Gide also said to be polite because it's a holy place. Vrindavan is a special place. Do not do anything bad, bad things to to Vrindavan. So I was adult, I, I still adult, but uh, <laughs> so I thought, okay, be polite, be polite, not not to doing bad things, just like that. And um, before Vrindavan, Jananda Maharaj recommended us to be a vegetarian because the holy place, the same people can feel what you are eating. So I think two months or something, I was a vegetarian, but I, I was thinking to going back non-vegetarian after Vrindavan because for me, the Vrindavan is, a, you know, just a, a travel place. So, and after meeting or oh, seeing Sadhu Maharaj, and um, I had a darshan time with Janada Maharaj for initiation. Actually, it was the first talking to privately with Janana Maharaj. And he asked, just asked, are you vegetarian or not? Um, I have no idea why I uh, answered like this. I have some stuff in refrigerator with non veggie food, but after I finish that, I will be a vegetarian. Still now, I cannot understand why I said that, because I was thinking going back to non veggie life. But I answered like that, and Janana Maharaj recommend throw that away, throw this away. There's a karma in that, so you don't need to take to, uh, to fin for finish, just finishing it. But if you don't want to be a vegetarian, it's okay. But he just said, if you are waiting to finishing that, that this stuff, maybe you can throw away. So I said, okay, I will throw away after going back to Japan, so I will be a vegetarian. And, um, after coming back to coming back to Japan, I joined the Japanese Association and started to listen the lecture. So actually, my starting lecture is uh, listening the lecture is after Vrindavan. And after Vrindavan, we had uh, I had um, the yoga course named Guru Kula. The teacher is Prema Yogini Didi. She teaches us how is Guru or the what is the seva for Guru Dev or something. So um, the first there's a two trip two trip is together the, the being getting association with with the the same in same courses. So the the first trip was August. 2020 and um still i was just having fun okay maybe i will learning studying bhakti yoga or something like that but at that time i have a seva to carrying the big cushion that janana maharaj was sitting i was holding like that it was a little bit heavy for me so i thought Oh, this is might be the dust of lotus feet is on my head, and um, but I didn't say anything to to about this. It's just my small meditation, and it was not a strong one. And then um, next trip was April twenty twenty one, and I think almost half years after that. I had a chance to to taking bath bathtub um, after Janana Maharaj 
buzz in. So I really thought, oh, this is a chance, very good chance to, to taking、um, dust of lotus feet of good if can put on, a, on my head. So I was really jumping to the bus stop and then、um, putting the water from the bus stop and、um, to my, my head. So at that time, the, the meditation of the, the dust of the lotus feet was so strong. So, and then at that trip, maybe one day after something, Jananda Maharaj asked me, Uh, Ramani Priya, how about to, to move to near my place? Because you are, you can walk and in anywhere because my, my work is just using PC. So how about that? You, you may think, consider about that. So I said, yes, I will go. And then、um, now I am living Very, very near, just three minutes walk from Jayananda Maharaj's place. And、um, I can go to Vrindavan and yeah, I can go to Jayananda Maharaj's place. And、um, yeah, this is, I really feel the, how strong, the, how much power the lotus feet have. And、um, Yes, this is very, very small sharing and a small experience of my、um, very ashamed, very ashaming、um, experience that to, to the, the power of lotus feet is so strong. Da -de -da -de. That is very nice. Thank you for sharing, r a m a n i p r i y a Very interesting how you come to Vrindavan and your tears start rolling.、Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> so, how about the Prema education? She's, she's helping、yeah. Prema education. So, this is very interesting and she's doing very nice seva. So, could you explain a little bit? <laughs> Okay,、uh, actually, I don't do any, any,、um, and saver, but、um, I just thinking about the, to, to many cannot donate much money, but、um, maybe small money can donate, maybe some can donate the very small money, it's like a,、uh, five dollars something. Um, but monthly, every month, and I started to, to monthly support program for、uh, Prema education and Prema Prasharam. In Japan, many,、uh, many know s about Prema Prasharam and many had d o n a t e for their、uh, memorial day or something, but I think Um, Prema education is also very important because,、um, the children, uh, your v r a j a v a s i and the children have a power and they had an eager to study or,、uh, you know, Japanese, maybe European American had,、um, can have,、uh, education easily, but, In India and maybe Brindavan, it's not easy. Everybody can, can take education. So I just feeling that not only money, the connection with the children in, in Prema education or maybe other, other children in Brindavan,、um, is very important and maybe That is good for, for many people, many devotees. So I was just, just collecting money and sending a small, small money, but that Japanese devotee are giving,、um, sending to Gopika or Gopinath by year, just, just like that. And, um, when I was in Vrindavan, I could, could go to Vrindavan. 
I see um, I meet the children and um, what are they doing or how cute they are and maybe that would be a chance to share in Japanese devotees to how the power of the Vrindavan children have yes yeah thank you so last trip also she brought many stationery like a notebook ballpoint pen and uh, pencil and uh, marker etc and uh, so many devotees distributed and uh, everybody has some something some small money or a small notebook or a small something and just something small something but if we become 50 devotees 100 devotees small become big so this it seems small attempt but uh, slowly slowly becoming bigger and many uh, devotees also inspired this seva so and i think gurudev also will be very happy radha mohan also very happy i also very happy and uh, so prema yogini didi was uh, opening gurukul so how to learn from guru how to serve to guru and how to share our feeling so prema yogini was uh, she is doing very nice seva for 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 us for all devotees and uh, now in my place uh, the three no four students from prema yogini uh, serving me and serving Radha Mohan. So this is very amazing because uh, my wife left her body last year. So I do, I I was wondering I don't know what to do, and uh, I have no idea how to how to do how to uh, take care of my. What is it? Like house affair. I don't know, really. So then, by the mercy of Gurudev and Radha Mohanji, slowly, slowly sending some devotees, not only them, but also uh, once a week, uh, like once or twice a week, some devotees, many devotees visiting me and visiting us. So this is very wonderful. I really appreciate uh, uh, Lamani Priyad Seva and also other devotees Seva. And uh, I'm very thankful to Gurudev and Radha Mohanji and all the devotees. Rade, rade. Good. If I don't have no more sharings that have registered for today, maybe there are some sharings from Rindavan, from Mungeman here. Good Seva is uh, helping to the needy students love their education plus capabilities like his teaching that they can go with the army and with the, a computer they can grow new things to learn in india in europe and your country is everybody will want to be a carpenter electrician plumber but here money is so less Nobody wants to do that. 
the money is only there where is new thing and for india computer computer based things are very new and they are only interested in new subject to know and some anti capacity because and they are doing very nice here girls of heart education also that they are getting money from her education so this for girls is very good teaching there and for this shama priya and rasa is helping them give give to the uh, something to make and the devotee is like to buy it because it is helping to the students also this is very nice here. and many things many way of they are thinking because they have a european ideas and they work very nicely prem prasad is also beautiful prasad distribution in morning and evening both time is a real good seva kirtan real good seva medicine medicine prem medicine medical seva 100 125 devotees are coming non devotee and they take from the big big from bombay calcutta from long distance they come because the doctor is very good so they get the very nice benefit from that so with all the mercy of radha mohan is happening to the was organized one from jamdaha temple the one group come and they organize one gopal and brahman bhojan vaishnav seva many many devotees take very nice prasad so it was a great service even in summer time going on very nice there is no devotee from western because i have only devotee from western world but some seva is every day is there and all are busy this is a good chance thank you and jananda maharaj is very caring and loving in short we take care many things but i say you know so when that love that is on you great how to care and how are you and i will care you so everything comes through the love and attachment so prabhu pas se relation love feelings and attachment this is the way of the spiritual life what we are missing in other parampara this is our parampara this parampara this parampara prabhupad mentioned so he say yogi gyani karmi <coughs> and bhakta so he made the separate of these things to the bhakta is all line is a very deep meaning to is not become old Radhe Radhe can I ask something Sure ask 
Chris, I want to say thank you to you, Guru Dave, that you are there and you are guiding us and um, we are <laughs> can feel you in our hearts and in good and in bad times, in times when we are close and in times when we are not so close to you and to Bye, our bro. hearts. You are our best friend. But sometimes I don't feel it so deeply, Gurudev. And I'm so happy that you are close. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you to Jayananda Maharaj to meet you and to share your, your um, association. It was so wonderful time was helped me to open my heart and to be connect with all the other devotees it was so beautiful and thank you i cannot see them thank you Rasheshwani. <laughs> so uh, we we enjoyed and we sh we could share feeling and uh, i'm so uh, what do you say uh, i'm so impressed by Western devotee, a European devotee also. And I am very honored to, to, to visit and uh, associate with all of you. And I also get so much inspiration. Thank you. You brought so much love to us. Thank you. And thank you to Ramani. I met her in Vrindavan and it was so nice to, to meet you and to have your association, my dear. And I feel, feel our connection in, in my heart. <clears throat> I, I didn't feel that you are a tourist, <laughs> <laughs> my friend. And, and I have a, an, an answer to an, a question to Gurudev. When I was in Vrindavan, I got this. I hope you can see it. Guru Parampara, and there is another guru sitting next to you, Guru Dev, and I don't know him. Maybe you can tell something about him. He is sitting bet you, between you and Radha, Radha Mohandalas Babaji. Radha Govinda Das Babaji, and you, and here is, I, can you see? I, I, I've got it in my, my God, brother. Ah. Oh, thank you. Uncle Asu. He is my brother, God brother. Ah. He is my God brother. We are living together like a Kesha Baba, Mohan Baba. Yeah. He was also with me ah. that time. We are young. You what what is his name, Gurudev? Radha Mohandas. Radha Mohandas. Yeah. Thank you. That's so so much um, nice smiling. Yeah, very no nice. Um, Jananda Maharaj meets with me. He will say about yes. <coughs> yes, Radha Mohan does it. Babaji, we, I was very fortunate to meet with him twice in, in Brindavan. And that with Gurudev and Kesha Baba is once. And uh, he was very dear devotee of Radha Govinda Subhaj Maharaj, also with our Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj. Uh, following instruction of his Guru Dev, he was doing bhajan in Barishane. I, I don't know how many, maybe 12 years or many years he, uh, he was doing bhajan. Uh, with 20, uh, uh, 12, 12 years with the full rule and regulation. He not talk, not do anything. 12 years. Only and it is uh, if someone who follow 12 years some 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 following certain rule and regulation and uh, Radharani may please 
and uh, get some darshan. And it is uh, Radha Mohan does, you know, Radha Mohan Baba got darshan of Radha Rani. And uh, he's Sita, Sita Mahatma. And uh, I heard from his disciple, he was without, I don't know, automatically he could do, he could recite Radhara Sudhani every, every shloka. Or also he could, he could see devotee's heart. Or sometimes also see the future. Many devotee was realizing uh, this Radha Mohan does, uh, Radha Mohan Baba was Siddha and so dear to Srimati Radha Rani and his Guru Dev. Like uh, our Guru Dev Sad Maharaj, he's so kind to us and uh, his Kirtan is so wonderful. Right, Guru Dev? His Kirtan is Bajan so nice. He is also Siddha Mahat. He is hiding. He shows himself like he is crazy, but it's a fool. So Radha Mohan Baba also Siddha Purusha. Very very And uh, so we once Parampara is on this after is a parampara. Mm. Come, they will become Siddha. No way. They cannot escape. <laughs> they have to be there in a sai bhav. If they really want to come in parampara in that line. If they don't want to do that, they want to go in their way, then no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Line is the Siddhama line. True. Are what you say about Ketri Baba Mohan Baba? You see Balram Baba here, who is yes. working like a carpenter. He is a Mahatma. He is a very great sir. <laughs> he is a disciple of Mohan Baba. And also he another. <laughs> Yes. Believe and, uh, Yes, I believe no, Guru Dev. Parampara means this is the parampara. In this parampara, you can see Pran Krishna Das Babaji. You see in Radha Kun. No way. <laughs> One day a Sai Baha will come and Siddhi will come. Only muddy mind had to be clean water. Clean water, Gurudev, means without the mud? Without mud. <laughs> means muddy water, you cannot see the face. Your sarup, because many material things is mixed there. That has clean. And if it's a one pointed when we come, in Radha Dasi, I accept you, Radha Dasi. Slowly, slowly, our muddy mind becomes. Free. We are many pointed. When we come to one pointed, it becomes pure. So easy way. No need to afford to 
why I am muddy, what is the mud will do. Don't bother, don't think for mud, only meditate that. All will be go in the ground and water will be clean because it will not shake now. Then not naturally mud will go down to the lower no, what is it? Uh, because if you move the water, it will be muddy. <laughs> Understand? Shake water, I can felt shake, which is, mind is shaking here, yeah, then, uh, then it will be muddy. <laughs> it's so simple way. Thank you, Guru Dev and Chayananda. Thank you. Yeah. Gauravani is also here. Yes. I don't know what to share. <laughs> well, I can learn that. This way is so simple. I just remember Ananda Das Babaji was writing in in his commentaries. Vilapakusumanjali. I think it was verse number fifty-four. I'm not sure, but he was writing that we have to be patient with us, like Guru Dev said now. It's such a simple way. We have to be patient because the mind will be washed by the clean water of Radha and Mohan's exchange of love. All the different Leelas will wash some special dirt in our mind away. And whenever we hear again and again these lilas, then the heart will be cleansed more and more. Even if we are not so attentive, sometimes the mind is shaking. <laughs> anyway, the water is so strong that the mud will be washed away. And all these little details, which are in all lilas, they are washing all different details of our anartas. And in this way, the heart becomes slowly like a diamond. And it will be very brilliant because all aspects get cleaned. It will show the different aspects of the light of the pure love between Rata and Mohan. So it's a very easy way, but we have to be patient. We just have to fill again and again the ears with this nicely drink, the mixture of Radharani's name and Mohan's name in form of the Leelas or in form of the Mahamantra. Again and again, fill it up and it will directly wash the heart 
and the mind. So I'm very thankful for this being accepted in this line. I remember when I first saw Sri Sri Radha Govinda Das Babaji, it was this practically a little bit the same like Chananda Das was telling us once. I saw him in internet. I saw this video when he was chanting. And he was moving like not being from this planet. I cannot express But immediately I had this attachment and I knew I need a person who is in contact with him. A few weeks later, Gurudev came. I told his story already. I was not at all um, in faith. <laughs> I was actually completely against. But this is actually the interesting way that whatever connection you may have with Radharani or Krishna or whatever was your choice before, my choice before was Krishna. <laughs> Whatever connection you have, it will be used to track you forward, right? More and more, if you want or not. If you are once on the line, like Mohan is getting Radharani's mind, it's also said like, you will, uh, similar like you catch a fish right, with this line and the hook. If you are once on that line, slowly, you will more and more come near. So in this way, I saw Sri Sri Radha Govindadas Babaji in this video, attachment was there in the heart. And then Gurudev was standing in front of my door because I was really telling to Krishna, if you want me to have again any guru, because I had bad experience, then you have to follow this list. And it was really a list like he has to come here in the house. He has to be from Vrindavan. It has to be a pure Vaishnava from Vrindavan, not just anyone from the Western countries. I want the original. It has to be completely self-realized soul it has to come here. Give me initiation here. Before you, I had Sham in my altar, Radha in Sham. So I said to Sham, here, he has to come, give me initiation. A whole list. So Gurudev came and he succeeded. He put a hook in the heart and now he is trying to get me. It's my big luck that this line is very strong, even though I'm fighting and fighting to not come more near. Anyway, he's dragging more and more.
And all devotees are helping so nicely, like Jayananda. Maybe he was sent because I was hanging on somewhere and he had to get me out there so that it's going forward. All devotees are working together like a big family of pure love. And so we will come more and more near to Radharani's lotus feet. And then we will merge in the shadow of these lotus feet and will be the shadow of Radharani. <laughs> the Seva shadow. Very personally, in a very specific form. So thank you very much to all of you, to Gurudev and to all the other helpers. Hey, Ram. Jai Shirati. I will request to Gora Chandra. So please come. Yeah. Not here anymore. Who is that? Hmm? Uh, on the left. I will say you Shama Priya is there. She will say. Please come. I'll come and share. Share about what you do the seva. Seva. Yeah, I'll freeze. No, hide. You know everyone to her? She is Shama Priya. Yes, but she's always hiding. <laughs> Jai. You know, we love you. We love you. Nice to see you. Everybody knows him and loves him, right? But she knows love yes. anyone. See? Yes, yes, we love her. What to share our feelings and what she, how they make the growth of Radha Mohan, what they feel. This is teaching for everyone who wants to do that. How you take care for the girls who come to learn from you? How this idea come to you? Why you think like this to to give the service and earning also? It's not good thing to discuss. So you doing? Yeah. There. How you teach your son? Is so young son one twenty one years to inspire him to become devotee. What you teach, what you share to him, do he desire to do that? Is not good to share. Give them bigger. <coughs> I give you the point. Why you come to India? It will fall down. That's why. You Wow. Yeah, actually, this I can share about my sons. Because when my son came here, I realized that uh, that I am here is maybe because of my sons, of my both sons. 
because uh, when my second son was born, I, think I got invited uh, to meet the king. It was Sadhu Maharaj. He came also to my city that time. I never listened before anything. So I just seen Gurudev was 2002 and my second son was just a small baby. And um, after this, <laughs> um, yeah, slowly I became devoted. But uh, I also start to live alone with my kids very slowly. I was a single mother. So I was alone with two boys and uh, my small brother Mohan on the altar. And uh, yeah, these 12 years alone with my kids was sometimes so heavy for me, so much uh, struggle because uh, this uh, beautiful Punyam soul <laughs> is now Punyam. As a child, he was very much challenging me, very much. He was, um, yeah, like... Uh, always in fighting mode, completely different as he is now. And uh, so in the house was permanent fight going on. I was always in tension that uh, something can happen. Smaller brother was always in tension. So it was really very difficult time. And uh, But if this difficult time would not be there, I would not many times fall on the floor in front of my brother Mohan and uh, tell them, I don't know. <laughs> You have to help me. I cannot, I will not survive <laughs> when this is going on like this. And uh, how they will grow up if I have no power anymore like this. And I had such a strong feeling that uh, that more they will guide me, they will help me. It's difficult, but they will help me. And I was so sure that my time will come. And even the timing, I, I was sure it will be around 40 that I can be more with Radha Mohan and somehow I felt even I will be in, in, in Vrindavan. I didn't know that time how it would work, but it was something very strong inside that I was, and I feel this energy, this, this inside power was pushing me on and carrying me on through these difficult times, which was also beautiful, of course. We had also a great time together. It's not like this, but next to work and managing everything, it was uh, many times very challenging and yeah, sometimes as mother you don't know from where to get the strength to go on yeah and then it really happened my guru def rather more on mercy that uh, exactly with 40 actually I could start to live here and uh, everything changed actually every, as soon this decision came the guru def uh, gave me the chance to stay here and gave me also my nice partner on the side, Sachinanan, that we can live together here in the ashram and to stay together. That time, my sons were 15 and 17, so not the age to leave them, no, but somehow it was also arranged that I could really go. I said, okay, half a year, and then we see. And uh, Punyam was that time 17 and he was living alone in the flat. Lawrence was 15 and went mostly to father. He was more care with the father. But Punyam lived alone. <coughs> and um, after I got to know that <laughs> he made the flat like a social center, all his classmates came to him. He cared for them. He cooked for them. So he, he yeah, he developed a little center there which I got to know after and he improved so much in this uh, half year or so that when I came first and back, mothers of other classmates, they came to me and said, actually, when I listened that you leave your sons, I was very shocked. I have honestly to tell you, it was uh, very heavy to listen this. But now when we see how Vincent is developing, how he's growing, I don't know how, what is behind this. That, um, how this is happening, that you as mother just leave them and they're yeah, becoming better and better. And uh, yeah, slowly he started to get interest also to become devoted. Now he's even living here. So very shortcut of my last uh, 10 years. I feel now more and more everything what Radharan is promising me and there are many things there I know once they will happen. It's 
if she give a promise, then it's sure it will be done. You just have, as you said, for the one you have to have the patience for it and clean our water. That's for sure now. So thank you, my dear, for but your support. I want to know how you, you want to do Seva and how, what inspired you to do that. Everything what you are doing all day, what is your feeling with that? When you go to the teach to children in teaching classes, what inspired you? Why you make the dresses of Radha Mohan before it was going to the market for teaching? What inspired you to do that? This was also a dream to do this once, and this was mercy of the old tailor, uh, whom Moises Suniti knows very well that you could not really work with him because everything you ordered, he made just opposite or not, or not in time. And so one day I remember I came to Gurudev quite <laughs> very disappointed because I made so, bought nice fabric and he just made everything opposite. And I said, Gurudev, please, can we not buy a sewing machine? And I start slowly, slowly to make something because uh, I have some ideas, but it's not working with them, no, like this. And Gurudev immediately agreed. And then I start slowly in the shop. First dress was taking very long time because I made everything <laughs> first time slowly. And uh, yeah, I was, I, I remember I was so in bliss. It was summer or so very hot to stitch for two, three months. I think it looks because every day is less time for that. And I had to make new schedule to get this time, mostly night. But it was, my God, like, yeah, I don't know how many years I was dreaming about this. Once I see one Mataji, she made the dress in a temple, I thought, wow, this, my God, if this once happened when I'm very old, and this even, this is Radharani, she's fulfilling all desires and more faster and more beautiful as we ever dreamed about. So now after second, third dress, then Rasalila said, my God, why? You make always these simple uh, fabrics and why you may not buy a nice fabric and devotees are ready to sponsor. We can make nice together. So <clears throat> then she joined and uh, she managed always. Uh, now we have sometimes five orders in a month to make new dress and she's managing everything, shopping, and now she's even stitching. So... Yeah, we are a good team together for Radha Mantras. It's very beautiful. It's like sometimes we feel to enter in our workshop is like a healing center. No matter what outside happened, how many things are just there, which is sometimes also a little, yeah, for the mind. <laughs> as soon as we enter there and sit there, we are bo mostly both surprised what's happening with us because suddenly mind becomes peaceful and uh, yeah, it's very special to do this, really. And so many things are happening, like when we're planning, mostly it's like this, that um, Raza maybe see already on the on the market some beautiful fabric, and then she's saying, my God, this, there would be such a nice fabric. And sure, after one, two weeks, someone will tell, I want to do a, a dress exactly in this. This is happening so many times. Or in during the work, something happening, that it's going exactly in this way how they want. So many times we feel it's not like that uh, maybe we get give some structure how the dress should be, but in the end how it's happening, how it's coming, it's we can feel it's really they decide. And especially it's always very funny with Mohan because mostly we keep him little aside. He's mostly very simple, but uh, he's always getting the Durban and in the Durban, he's keeping us really like uh, now is my time. I also want some <laughs> specialty. And in the end, we, this is always the last thing, sometimes near to midnight already. And he will sure keep us one hour on this Durban. Always no this more and this more and this more. And in the end, it become big. But good if don't like big Durban. <laughs> but it's always he's like you could see, okay, we make... You make me so simple, but at least the turban should attract. Like it's like <laughs> it's 
it's really always happening. It's always funny. We, we want to do fast, but no. One flower more, this more, this more. And in the end, sometimes it looks so big also. My God, what we done this time? But in the Dachshan, this uh, actually also the dresses. For us, it's every time a surprise when the art is opening because so many things look completely different. Either you don't see it or you see it much more or the Durban looks so small, although it was big in our hands. Like really so many things are happening that you really feel, okay, wow. They are doing what they like. We are just the instrument to do something, but in the end it's happening what they want, especially Mohan. <laughs> Radharani is always in the langar that uh, as soon as start is curved, sure something is happening. She's also in the langar, she's taking us like uh, some mistake will happen. I have to open it minimum once, like, and then I feel, wow, she's like, it's a, like a response from her, no? Because Saki, mostly it's very smooth, it's done, okay, but Radharani comes, and then sometimes I forget, and I, oh, of course, it's Radharani. <laughs> it's, like, it's like she's, like, talking with us in the doing, no? Like, yeah, very I'm intense. All right. Yeah. <laughs> This yeah, is yeah, maybe, but it's always happening. Really, something is there. Sure, oh, because we want to make specially nice. No, oh, now Radharani, okay, last. Then you start something. No, please, machine is not working. Or something again. I have to open again to do it. Like always, like she's both actually more in the Durban and <laughs> Radharani in the skirt. They are keeping us. Um, yeah in response maybe like this yeah I'm, I'm so thankful i'm thankful to all of you who are sponsor for new dress it's uh sure the most beautiful saver what we can do here and no matter if we have no time we steal it even if it's night to do this saver sometimes good if you're saying workshop prohibited now no time <laughs> now you have to care for other things but <laughs> Of course, we go <laughs> in this. We cannot listen to Gurdjieff at night, then we have to go hiding it. Or when Gurdjieff calls, we are not saying that we are in the workshop <laughs> because we have to do. So. Now, <laughs> now, how many <coughs> you have a Teaching machine, uh, swimming machine. Uh, maybe four or five we have now, because we have around 12 girls yeah. in the teaching school. And uh, Razalila is taking a lot of care now for this teaching school because she is more perfect and she wants the girls really to be perfect in this. So I'm little Indian in this. Uh, so. She don't like when things are not straight, so she's uh, very strict with them now. And really, in one year, they became they improved so much now with the embroidery. They make so fine embroidery now. It's really so beautiful to see these small girls. They are maybe six, seven, the small ones, and they come. They don't know, and these Brijvasi girls, they start to do something. No matter if you give them crochet embroidery nothing no problem they will do in one day they know it how to do of course they are want to be fast but uh, if if we have the patience with them then they do really beautiful and so it's like a proud of a mother to see how they're growing no next to you they're growing bigger and they're doing more nice so it's like a little family or so of course they come every day now always in lunch, after lunch. So you just lay down for rest and they come. But uh, <laughs> sometimes, oh my God, again, uh, school. But now we have a teacher or so. We found uh, uh, one very poor lady and we wanted to support her in this. And now she's also growing in, in the handcraft more and teaching the girls. So we say her what we like to do and then she try to teach them like this. And uh, yeah, it's around 10, 12 girls and the bigger ones, so three, four bigger one girls, they are coming every second day to stitch the, on the sewing machines, the, like apron now or the bags. 
and now Rasalila made even a new uh, now you can get the logo on the new products so by the girls embroider embroidery by the girls even they make the logo embroidery and this is now stitched on all new products so we are hardly working for your arrival in August <laughs> that we have something in the to show you in the from the school frame education also so yeah everywhere is going on so they are the girls are also in uh, frame education in school or? some of them are Sunday also in the yeah frame in the frame education mm -hmm. and the teaching school is also frame education court no right thank you so much but now you have to make the stitching as two separate than frame Yeah, it is separate. Mm. It is separate. Just uh, more, this for tuition they are coming. More on separate manner that you can buy more machines and more. Yeah, well, yeah, this we have. Yeah. Yeah, this we are. School is good. Stitching as school has to grow more. Okay. I want to. Okay. <laughs> it's a good idea. And how about good if that they get a new room? Another room. Yeah. Yeah. They need a big room. But we have yes. to, where to find it. We have to calculate. That would be wonderful that they get another room, Gordy, with another uh, stitching machine. They have a big no, school. They have, a, 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 they have a big in this is a big area. This school. Have, up, right? Yeah, yeah. Not just now in someone. Big, big area. A school up is there. A school is so big area. Oh, okay. That is, they need to pull hundred maybe. And there is storeroom. Oh, okay. They have a machine, but the machine, how many you have? Four, maybe two hands, and uh, one with that. Uh, so they cannot grow the more uh, students because they have four, uh, five machines only. Right? Mm -hmm. But so, they are all modern European standards. It's not ordinary machine. Ten, Thousand rupees one machine. Wow. Ten thousand, right? Uh, ten thousand or five, six, ten thousand. The best machine. Different type of stitching from this machine. They are very in good service doing, really to learn these things. Now, Gaura Didi, Gaura Priya Didi is coming from the different month to much to make the garnet only. See, wow. every day make. Wow. And one girl come from the Norway. She is uh, very very young. And she make the channan, yeah, channan seva. She, Braja uh, Sundara, who was that? Punya, Mangala Arti, Radhika Mohan, Radhika Mohan, all they was making Sri Channan Seva, Kishori, Damodar, they make Channan for one month, can go wow. Channan Seva of Radha Mohan, one bucket. And for whole year, we not use the Gopi Channan to Thakurji. It's all sandal you. 
and last time when Kishori came, she by the Sunday road, two pieces, big Sunday road from good costly. From Mysore, not only. Yes, is a sandal from the tree. It takes time to. It's not easy. It's very costly. And to making, it takes time. Mm. You see this. So, Jugal, Priya is there. Huh? Jugal, bring him picture. You see Jugal. Yes, Guru Dev, I am here. <laughs> he, he was here. Mm. You make oh. Chandan Pana for Sandal Pata. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. Say your feelings. Say your feelings. Some sharing. How inspired to come to Bandavan? Mm. How you feel that uh, Gopika and Gopinath, and how how inspiration that in summer time also you come, and mm. still you have a desire to always coming to Bandavan. You are finding a way to come with that one. Please, can you share something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I really wish to come to Vrindavan. I was there twice this year already. But every time I come, I just, it, my desire grows so much. <laughs> so now I, I don't know what to do. I so much want to come back. And uh, hopefully we will find a way so I can come back again very soon. I miss you, Gurudev, and everyone. It's so nice to have the association and Gopika and Gopinath is my inspiration, always so helpful with their seva and so much mercy coming to me. Are you not um, Gopinath and Gopika? They were my teachers when I was on the program in Nepal studying peace and conflict. And they invited us to come to Vrindavan. And it was actually Radhika who <laughs> invited us. <laughs> Five years old, she invited. She said we had to come, and then we said, yes, we'll come. And when I came to Vrindavan first time, I was very sick because I had some stomach problems. And then I came, and I was like, on the plane to Vrindavan, I was hoping so much. Since I was so sick, I actually wanted to go home. And then I came to Vrindavan, I was like, ah, oh, I'm home now. <laughs> I came home. <laughs> It was very nice. I felt this. Only for a very few days I was there. I came home. So then I came back. Two years. Missing year. you. Hmm? We are missing you at much. I miss you. <laughs> How are you make Tandaloo? Channa, you make you also share to make the channa. Yeah, we did. The, we made the channa when wow. I was there in April. Wow, <laughs> but <laughs> very nice seva to do together. And what so seva are you? What seva you more do? Uh, we did prem prasad for a few days. Wow. Uh, yeah, with Ponyam. <laughs> well, um, can I see Ponyam to you? Yes. <laughs> this is Shama Priya, <coughs> son. Mm. How you inspired Ponyam to come? Bandava? Come to the mic. Never come to me.
See what it is? Mm -hmm. Don't want to take the view of Gord away. Yeah. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Nice to see you all. Da -da. So, so for me, first time going to Rendown was, I was actually 13 and my brother went actually before me because I was very skeptical about all this, but then my brother was there and he was like talking about it and I was like, okay, now I also have to go now I have to see what my mother is doing there, why she's always leaving us for like, like sometimes a month for two months. <laughs> go to Vrindavan um, and it was really nice like first time but I actually got very sick I got typhoid fever and yeah it was very close <laughs> close call so then I didn't come back <coughs> then I think like time I went when I was maybe 16 and then I think I came every year um, so yeah, a lot of, I'm just here because of mother, <laughs> uh, so much mercy and yeah, so all, all of her love. That's why I was inspired. I was oh, actually always before I was very against, like very rational. I didn't really, wasn't really interested in spirituality. And my mother never pushed me also, no? This was very, I think, very important. That my mother never said I should do this or that. or She was always just doing her thing. And um, I felt you know, that it was helping her a lot. I got more interested. So I was attracted just by her doing, to her, to her um, devotion. And, yeah. No, I'm very lucky to be here for a longer time and yeah, I still cannot believe it sometimes. <laughs> it feels like a dream. <laughs> no, so much mercy Gurudev is giving and I'm so happy to be part of this big family. So nice. I feel so connected. All of you really, it's so nice that Gurudev is like this, um, it connects all of us, no? And then Radha Mohan is connecting all of us. So nice. So very thankful to all of you. And please give me your blessing so I can go deeper and stay longer here. Radha. <laughs> Gora Chandra. Oh, Gora Chandra. I wrote it. Anyone want to share? Give the experience. How to how the heart catching to move for the divine thing, how catching to know something more what is unseen to us. So need, we need navigator. No? I don't know. I want to see something what is unknown to me. Then I need navigator. If I know why I will need navigator, I can go there. But unknown place, I don't know about that. How to navigate? Who will navigate me? How? Who will show me about the relation? True of relation with love and care. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
divine relation, material relation, many times I experience with the senses and body. But divine relation, I don't know the way. Who will show me? Who will navigate me? I need one guide, one way. I will follow this way, what he will show me. That is Sharnagati, na? That I will follow you, what way you decide in your life. I will not bother for many ways. This world is teaching many ways, many circumstances. Why not? But they never teach about love and true relations. Right? I find many friends, but not the best friend who can be my navigator. Best father, best guard, best mother, best way. What I am missing in my life, I can see everything is a divine relation. No? And this navigator show me where if I walk and I listen to him. And one day slowly, slowly, I also reach where he is moving that I can walk together with him. And what he is doing, helping to the suffering people who is in suffering, I can take his responsibility to share that. This is the beautiful job. <laughs> Right. I want actually, to Gurudev. Gurudev, I, yeah. I just uh, I was just thinking that uh, Parampara is working very, very wonderful, right? So I had this feeling that Prabhupada in the beginning he was showing us some basic way for so many people in different kind of moods, even offending. So he was giving such a wonderful basement. And when I felt lost because my, my, my Gurudev, my first Gurudev went, I was praying to Prabhupada and I was in Vrindavan and then he came and I felt I was hugged by him. And actually this was the beginning of the journey under your guidance. And this was very personal that actually Prabhupada took me to your lotus feet. And I saw so many people I met later on from ISKCON, they were actually leaded by Prabhupada in their own corner of spiritual life. Uh, and it was always um, in, in their special mood, actually. So it's very personal and it's, it's very exact. It's even more exact than a Switzer clock, actually. So, so many, so much mercy we can see 
And the navigation system of uh, Nittai is working to through so many different devotees, gurus. All this guru principle is so amazingly perfect. I want you to add Paru Prabhupada Parampara is the page four he is writing about Parampara. So read that Parampara line. Page four and try to understand. This is the Prabhupada Parampara. Page four introduction. <laughs> and who not go in this parampara. Then he said other way, knowledge way, second proposal. Second parampara. Then he said a third parampara. Then he showed fourth parampara. Then he showed fifth parampara. He is showing many parampara. But one thing in page four he writes, this is the condensed means this is the part the word he writes. No. That, huh? no. He writes that this is the essence of all the scripture. What do you say the word? Essence? Essence of quint all. essence. No, the, can you quint. read the book? No, no, it was really beautiful. Bhagavad Gita. Page four. Last paragraph from the uh, five line, he said. That paragraph. Last, can you come? Five, five pampara, you write, read this. Underline. This and four, no? This. Ah, the red line is not from there. Red line. That is a very elaborate subject. Ah, this is. Very elevated subject means to understand. Relation is a very, 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 very elevated subject. Means all is scripture. When you will go, then you will understand. Now I am telling him, accept this. That when they will come in your life, you understand that intimate relation is the only subject life will change. And if you want to know why it is going without Knowing intimate relation, you cannot do devotion. Devotion only work with intimacy. And the sarup is also coming in the devotion, in the service, that you will get the sarup. If devotion is not there, Sarup will not come. Anurag, rag will be there, but Anurag will not come. Like so many times, turban has to change and the Langa has to change of Radharani. She said, I don't like it. Change it again. 
is anurag. He is an anurag. He is love giving. That I don't like this way. You have to improve it. Krishna, I don't like this terrible you making me last dress. And then you not making nice clothes for me. That's a nice turban for me. And then he takes a long time to put them. They think it's a five minute job. But no. This is the Anurag of Radha and Krishna more to them. That create the Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. This is the Abar One Parampara. This is Raga. And this I see this line Vrindavan Brajvasis do that. Yes, Brajvasis always I, understand. No Brajvasis, the real Bhakta in Vrindavan. Only Brajvasi, you cannot say that. Like my Balram Baba. His devotion, anurag, her service, non-stop. I said to rest for half an hour, he's not ready for that. Surprising. Everybody say half an hour, two hours will rest. He has no time to talk even. You have to hold him to do that. Sri Radha. <laughs> what to read more in Bhagavad Gita? These days I am only reading Bhagavad Gita. I am taking class of Bhagavad Gita. And I advise to Udhav that you take the class in Bhagavad Gita. And he is ready to do that. I say eight, nine, ten. To explain that. Twelve, up to twelve. This is devotional practice. What is the problem? Up to twelve, we are practicing impersonal. Who become personal, intimate relation, they have to practice only seven from thirteen, fourteen to twenty. You check seven things, seven days, seven things. <laughs> that is anurag. <laughs> seven days, seven things. There is no nine, eight days, seven days, seven things. Check and twelve more than seven. Who try to do become practice of without relation, impersonal. After Prabhupada, what happened? Parampara changed. You know how it changed? Because Prabhupada so Ishtadev, Radha Mohan. And the, his disciples showing Prabhupada. Parampara change. I same parampara. Say, see that. One is a personal parampara, one is an impersonal parampara. Understand? All will not understand. I am sharing very deep things. So why not is working? 
because it's not moved that way. Is a Krishna intimate relation now? Huh? But after that, Prabhupada in personal in personal relation, and he is not living. What is you will say? Eleven to twelve. One to twelve, and thirteen, fourteen. Not Prabhupada. Give thirteen, fourteen to twenty. Check. He was so inspired with the Bhagavad Gita. He said, "This is my subject. I will share this with them." You see the fifteen. Prabhupada said that Krishna cannot understand without mercy of brother giving potency himself. How I will understand Krishna without Radha? Prabhupada line I say repeat it. Can you check it fifteen? All is underlined. And fifteen, ten, fifteen line at a time. I oh, say you read, um, you read and you not underline the book. You not read. Means you don't understand. Hmm. Microphone continues. You will understand. You will underline it. Read ten, fifteen words, no? Yeah, read. Verse not. Oh, the the Prabhupada line. What, mm. what is line? Yes. What he said. The Supreme Lord Krishna can be known by persons who are in a relationship with him for the discharge of devotional service. No, no, only underline. Read. This is. Uh, uh -huh. Like Arjuna and his followers. You see, supreme person known by persons who are in a relationship with him. Relation, and I want to know Krishna without relation. I develop relation with the navigator, not with Krishna. Last this one. Last line. The Krishna cannot understand himself. Ah, then this is, fifteen. Yeah, this Last is this is the verse one. actually. Indeed, you alone know yourself by your own internal potency. You see, internal potency to know yourself. Krishna, Arjuna is telling. Mm -hmm. Page number. Four hundred sixty-five, chapter ten, text fifteen. I'm in the Gita here. Actually, I I I have this experience that uh, uh, the wife always better understands you than you yourself. Like the mother always knows the child better than it. It's a then what to do? <coughs> I have to know her to understand Krishna. Yes, but why to take the shelter to know Krishna? But if I have to be in that shelter, I cannot jump out. This is that. Ujjwal rasa was there, but Unnat Ujjwal rasa. Unnat was, Jananda Maharaj said one day, what is Unnat? This is Unnat. Means, who knows, I will take that shelter to know him. 
navigator is not very close. He is close. He is the way how to go there. He knows the way and he can help there. But what Radha knows, Radha Dasi cannot know. So give this position to Radhika and Radhika will more helping to you. This is our Prampara, my dear. This is our Prampara. Only through the classes of love we can understand. That I... Uh, today I am reading, it was listening. So I don't read, I listen. He said, you no know, need to change the mind, change your eyes, vision. Vision. Like you, your mind will not change. You are sitting in room, you go out of room, you have to change. You move from your material room to with the spiritual room, then your vision will change. Then automatic heart will change. Today I am reading in uh, 11. It was uh, 11. Only sloka, I say, he said, too much opulence. I say, okay, but read it. I want to listen to it. This line today I find. Not, you don't need to change your mind. You know, try to help your mind to how to control it. Move from the place to see different vision. Vision has to change. I'm living in my material body. My mind is moving for that. You go to the spiritual body, your vision will be different to see divine. You are not interested in material. <laughs> Ah, vision has to change. This is the main point in art also, perspective. Yes, vision has to change. Wow, Prabhupada. This is our parampara. <laughs> Not live in sadhak deha, come to siddha deha and change your vision to see. We have to see it from the eyes of Shakti. Then we may also understand Shakti Man. Without Shakti, so, we will never understand. So I always say this is parampara. Which parampara you want to grow, you have to be very careful. Sadhu Sadhan. Our Gurudev Babaji line is vision to change, intimate relation to for him, for Krishna, to Radha. First Krishna, then Radha. Because you come to the soul consciousness, then Gopi Bhav, then Radha Rani, Mercy will come to me, give Sarup to you. So why Krishna is that? Why ten ten is to understand? Wow. My God. <laughs> Go, uh, Suniti. Yes, we have to also start, start teaching to the Gita, Bhagavad Gita. My Gita is very beautiful now. All painted. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, Gurudev. By your order, we will do. No, I say. I am learning because I don't do mistakes.
Really nice. Amazing Gurdi. Really mm -hmm. nice. And you do miracles, always new miracles come from you, from your <laughs> lotus feet. No. <laughs> this is Prabhupada words I say to Parampara. <laughs> you see, they change Parampara or not after Prabhupada. Yes. Yes. Then the Guru became the goal. Jananda Maharaj, change Parampara or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See that? Yes, traditional yes, parampara, traditional parampara, and uh, new new way parampara. <laughs> yes, so so he said that it was Krishna is talking, and after parampara, Prabhupada parampara means Guru is the goal. Then the breeze come. <laughs> they are, then in in the in the Jesus say Jesus in the Bible is I don't know in Bible, but I listen about Jesus. He say I can see my father, but you see only right and wrong, so you cannot see father. You are standing in the front of heaven, but you cannot enter. And other comes, you stop them because you check right and wrong. But I see, yeah. I can bring to them. And he this said also, good if he said also, I'm the way, not I'm the goal. Yes. So he said also, like you. He is navigator. Navigator knows the way, but he never say, I'm the goal. Father is the goal. And you say same also. So you teach, your teaching is also some kind of Christianity, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the Christianity is the Vedic belief. <clears throat> say like this. Right. Is it Jesus, I Christian, I did not say Jesus. Helping yeah. the, that moment with the Vedic philosophy. After that is come some books, but he is teaching Vedic philosophy. True, good, true. See that? That to understand you have, you give. And Prabhupada also teaching what is the Lineage, yeah. Divine lineage should do that. Yeah. So it's clear and clear. So this two thing is very important. You want to be developed in a spiritual life, you have to do if not then fruitive activity. Not even devotee we become. No. Uh, Suniti, you agree with me or not? Yes. Yeah. I I I am shocked to to say in Jayananda words. I am shocked how every time you come up with new, you know, like you're fully anuragi, you're fully in exchange with Swamini and giving us newer and newer realizations but we have to follow slowly good you have to repeat <laughs> i learned i learned from shama priya i learned to see yes. there and rag i have no much like that <laughs> when i see my balra i feel very ecstasy to see him I call him not come to me. Then again calling, calling, then one minute come and two minutes I have to stop everything to talk with him. If not, then he will go for his job. <laughs> he don't bother that we are in a special sharing class. This is devotion here.
you come, I will show this when you will come. We are very serious subject. And he will come, you have to talk. If not, then he will go back. This is Anurag in the service. Ask to anyone, everybody will say the same thing. <laughs> Sir, thank you. Six thirty, ten minutes more, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you're always fresh and surprising. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anandam, your association inspired me to more to learn and more to learn and learning on how my Swami is important. Wow. How Krishna see to Swami, how Prabhupada is said, looking to the Swami. Then I will read now Srimad Bhagavat. Oh, where the Vyas is looking, looking Swami, where there. Where is my Swami in, in Srimad Bhagavat? Radhe. We always like to be a child. <laughs> we yeah. not like to become a adult. This yeah. is the point why we make Guru also gold. Guru not gold. <laughs> Guru then, is the, but Guru is the navigator. Gold is my Swami. For me, Krishna, yes, it will be gold to Radha to alternative, ulti yeah. ultimate, ultimate, the ultimate goal. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the point. This is a little tricky, Gurudev, because to to reach Swamini, we have to be child. But to come on this point, we have to be adult because we are trying to be the follower of our Gurudev and make him go. This is a little tricky, but as this to change, you give us that yeah. we have to change very this important. idea. Very, very important. These are not our problem. Yeah. Everybody fall in love to you, and so we. It's easy to to make you the goal, and then that, that to change. It's a. It's not easy for the heart. No, change a way that like Jesus. So the way of love, love, love is so. Not meditate yeah. in the person, meditate in yeah. the teaching that, and this yeah. way we can bring the. Mm. Divine go with divine way. Right, Yananda Maharaj? Yes. You inspired me and I share you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we can we can learn every every time more and more. <laughs> I am learning, and you say you are. I you teach me. <laughs> no, 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 I'm learning. No <laughs> teaching. There are. Thank you. Thank you, Radha. 